discovered a box of tampons in my bag. When my mother discovered a box of tampons in my bag, it was summer and she was visiting and I was standing in the same room at the time. She seemed calm, but in my mind, she might as well have found a perfectly rolled joint, half smoked or a neon wrapped condom. So before she even asked, I volunteered that my roommates had left it there. It was hers and not mine, as if by disowning the object, I could somehow erase the offense of pressed cotton that swelled like a, like a womb with the weight of blood and our tissue and skin. I understood that this bullet-shaped plug implied many things to Arab mothers who passed it down to their daughters who were supposed to believe all of it and pass it down to theirs like a family recipe or a great-grandmother's pendant. You see, it meant broken curfews and dimly lit nights in closed rooms with unfamiliar windows framing the dawn, meant too much West poured into our heads, meant we did not care about that kind of future, who would wonder about our past snubbed and confused by how our bodies just knew how to let things go, how to make up for death when it didn't give life, or wasn't ready, or didn't want to, and that we were free to decide what goes into that body and when. So my mother tucked the box back in where she found it and zipped up my bag like a mouth full of all the words she wanted to say but didn't, stood up and walked out of my room and asked me gently not to follow. Thank you.